It was worth the wait for Starship's 10th flight test, which was for sure successful, and SpaceX just released their press release about the flight. So let me read it to you. SpaceX lifted off right on time at 6.30 p.m. Central Time from Starbase, Texas on Tuesday, August 26th. Every major objective was met, providing critical data to inform designs of the next generation Starship and Super Heavy. The flight test began with Super Heavy successfully lifting off by igniting all 33 Raptor engines and ascending over the Gulf of America. Successful ascent was followed by a hot staging maneuver with Starship's upper stage igniting its six Raptor engines to separate from Super Heavy and continue the flight to space. Following stage separation, the Super Heavy booster completed its boost back burn to put it on a course to a pre-planned splashdown zone. The booster descended and successfully initiated its landing burn, intentionally disabling one of its three center engines during the final phases of the burn and using a backup engine from the middle ring. Super Heavy entered into a final hover above the water before shutting down its engines and splashing down into the water. Starship completed a full duration ascent burn and achieved its planned velocity, successfully putting it on a suborbital trajectory. The first in-space objective was then completed with eight Starlink simulators deployed in the first successful payload demonstration from Starship. The vehicle then completed the second ever in-space relight of a Raptor engine, demonstrating a key capability for future deorbit burns. Moving into the critical re-entry phase, Starship was able to gather data on the performance of its heat shield and structure as it was intentionally stressed to push the envelope on vehicle capabilities. Using its four flaps for control, the spacecraft arrived at its splashdown point in the Indian Ocean, successfully executed a landing flip, and completed the flight test with a landing burn and soft splashdown. Over the course of a flight test campaign, success will continue to be measured by what we are able to learn, and Starship's 10th flight test provided valuable data by stressing the limits of vehicle capabilities and providing maximum excitement along the way. So there's the official word from SpaceX, but this was great to see in person. I know that we had two scrubs back to back, and then SpaceX was able to get it going for a third uh, actual successful attempt here on this Tuesday, and they were able to do that uh, within 24 hours from the previous attempt, so that was very impressive. And we will see only one more V2 ship launch after this for Flight 11, so finally, V2 has a successful launch. This was massively impressive and exciting to see the Starlink simulators deployed and to, of course, see this launch in person. If you also enjoyed this launch in person, perhaps you want to order your own Flight 10 design from my merch store. So I'm going to drop the link in the comments. And here is just some awesome sound. 131.7 decibels from my vantage point so that you can hear it for yourself. Things faster than SpaceX, so we may actually see it before you do on the feed. So, uh, 39, that went through the 40. Yeah, okay. So, we may We're be going. here, hear us Ten uh, in, in, in person. We may see it here just before you. So, oh let's my take gosh, a look here. they're gonna go. It's gonna go. Ah. Hopefully, it's gonna go. There it oh. goes. We see ignition. Come on. Looks like the engines are lit, and we have liftoff. Let's we go. We have liftoff. Let's see. Okay. It is going okay. It's still silent. Yeah, the but sound hasn't got to us long. yet. We have all 33 engines lit. Oh. And now we're okay. We're starting to get the sound. Oh. Oh. Keep going. Oh. Keep going. All right, we're starting to see the uh, pitch over. Nice lighting with the uh, sun. Oh, oh yes, here it comes.
should have more than enough performance with one engine out to continue the mission, so that uh, should be fine. We're coming up on two minutes, and uh, we should start seeing, um, in about 20 seconds, we should see Miko, most engine cutoff. So that is proceeding on the way up, and we'll take a look at what happens with that uh, <laughs> shutdown. So it should be any moment now from our perspective. There it goes. Yes, come on. There it goes. Come on. We see ignition. Come on. Looks like the engines are lit. And we have liftoff. Let's we go. We have liftoff. Let's see. Okay. It is going okay. It's still silent. Yeah, look right. at that thing. Oh, my goodness. We have all 33 engines lit. Yeah, no, okay. Keep going, keep going. All right, we're starting to see the uh, pitch over. Nice lighting with the sun. Oh yeah, here it Shut down. 